Here we go. I think we finally got the target species. We have, it's a whiting. You beauty. So good day everyone. What a beautiful morning out here. Bit overcast, there is a slight southerly, but uh, uh, very nice. But uh, I'm gonna do something I haven't done for quite a while, and that's head up towards my whiting spot. So, get up there, have a go for some whiting. But uh, something a bit different, I'm gonna use a bit of vintage gear. Now this is a vintage Gillies spin rod. Um, I'll go into a bit more detail about it when we get there. But uh, yeah, head up, see if I can find some whiting, maybe a squid. Magic morning on the water. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so we're in the whiting spot. And uh, as I was saying, today I'm going to be using the vintage Gillies rod, spin rod. Um, I'm guessing, and it's only a guess, uh, this is a mid-90s rod. And the reason I'm guessing is uh, this isn't actually my rod. I've got no idea where this rod came from. <laughs> but uh, it ended up in my shed somehow. And um, yeah, it's sort of been in my possession since the mid-90s. And uh, well, for the last 15 years or so, it's been sitting unused in my shed. So I thought, yeah, today's the day. One strange thing about it, I don't know if you can make it out, but you can see the top three guides there. They're slightly offset. They don't run in line with the bottom two guides. Um, no idea why that might be. If you have an idea, let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, a bit odd. But anyway, we're not out here to talk about it. Let's see if we can uh, get a whiting on it. Okay, we got a fish. I think we got a blowy. <laughs> or maybe a butterfish. So we're not going to get too excited about this one. Yeah, it's butterfish. But it's a start. And one thing I noticed straight away about this rod is um, for use in the kayak, and probably in a boat as well. That butt's just way too long. I'm sort of hitting myself here as I'm fishing, but uh, well, it's all a bit of fun. Give it a go. Be a nice little rod off the beach, actually. All right, what's this? A slightly better butterfish? <laughs> so I was looking at these, um, had a quick look for these Gillies rods online, and they, they seem to be better known for uh, fly rods, but uh, yeah, no butterfish, but uh, yeah, not a bad little spinning rod. Like I said, probably ideal off the beach actually, or off the rocks for herring and that kind of thing. Be ideal. All right, so I was just moving. I thought I'd uh, drag the squid jig along, and. We got one. So at least we got something. Awesome. Your beauty. Yeah, we're on the board. Well, the fishing's kind of slow this morning. All I'm getting is pickers, and I'm not really given a very good <laughs> representation of this uh, vintage gear. But uh, gee, it's nice out here. The wind's sort of backed right off now, almost glassed off. Not quite. Yeah, it's pretty good being out here. A few whiting in the bucket would make it perfect.
I'll tell you what, I must be the butterfish world champion by now. It's just moving again because the pickers are driving me nuts and uh, well, at least the squid are playing the game. It's just a little one but he'll do. Here we go. I think we finally got the target species. We have, it's a whiting. You beauty. It's not the biggest one you'll ever see. But I'm pretty stoked to see it. Alright. Finally. Finally a whiting on the vintage gear. Gilly spin rod. Ripper. Oh, I was getting a bit worried then. I thought it was going to be donuts. It nearly was. I nearly dropped it. <laughs> ah, you ripper. I just, score a, just saw a school of herring swim underneath me and I think I got one. I did too. You beauty. Alright, so there's a school of herring right here. Oh. Don't you go anywhere, buddy. Let's see if I can get another one. Yep, they're right there. And, oh, nearly at him. Need some more bait. Yeah, I can see them. They're right there. There they are, look at them all. Man, they're going nuts. No, oh, no, they're trumpeters. The herring are gone, these are trumpeters. <laughs> Sorry mate, you're the unlucky herring out of the school. Well my other camera died, but uh, look at that, nice little whiting. Here we go, we got a whiting, you beauty. So my main camera died, so excuse the uh, change of angle here. Oh, it didn't die, I just got a flat battery. But, uh, here we go. Here's a nice little whiting. Ripper. Finally getting somewhere. Alright, what do we got? I reckon it's another butterfish. Yep, another butterfish. And I'm, uh, I think I've had enough of catching these, so I'm going to start cruising in. And see if I can pick up a couple of squid on the way in. Alright, here's a squid. Not the biggest of squids, but it's a squid. It might not be a bad one. Get it to the boat. Oh, yeah, it's not a bad one. Get a net behind it. Guys, uh, fishing with vintage gear, the old uh, the old ghillie spin rod. Not the most productive mourner on the water, but uh, I mean, a couple of whiting, a few squid. That's all you really need. That's plenty for a feed for me. 
Well, good day again, everyone. Uh, so I've just got home and I've just finished cleaning up the catch. So there was three whiting, four squid. So yeah, nice little catch. But I thought I'd um, just show you how my this is my filleting station, my cleaning station, and I'll just show you how I've set it all up. So just show you what's happening here. The uh, that's all the guts, entrails, uh, wings from the squid, so on. That'll either go to my chooks. There's my chooks over there or straight in the compost. Uh, the whiting and herring frames, they'll be either crab bait or dog food. The dogs love chewing on a bit of uh, fish frame. Squid heads, that's going to be bait for the next whiting trip. And tubes and fillets, well that's for me. And uh, as I'm washing, any water, water goes through a worm farm there and then out onto the veggie patch here. You can see the hose coming out near the little banana that I've planted there. There's another hose that comes out uh, just over there. So all the water goes back into the veggie patch. So no waste, just um, yeah, it all works really well. It's a, it's a nice little cleaning area. Right next to the shed, so the boat goes straight in the, the freezer in my beer fridge over there and the fillets. They go on the barbie. So, that's it. Thanks for coming fishing with me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tight lines. See you next time.